Okay guys, that's really gross right now because I just got home from a run, but I also picked up a package I'm so excited about. I think I'm gonna set up you guys on a little tripod in my room. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. But I figure YOLO because I'm so excited about this, so I'm gonna film like a low-key unboxing, I guess. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who's pumped? Maybe if I take down my hair, I'll look less gross. All right, this is not gonna get any better, I don't think. All right, honestly, this is the best it's gonna get. I look really gross, so I don't have any makeup on yet, and also, I am sweating. Um, okay, I got this package. Ooh, it says fragile. Okay, so let me grab some scissors. Open this bad boy right on up. Like, I feel like you guys have to like see me unboxing to make it a true unboxing, yeah? I'm so out of breath and I literally ran maybe a mile and a half, maybe. I'm like not a fit human, you guys. Okay. Woo! We're opening it. So I got the Morphe 350 palette, which if you're like into makeup more so than the average person, you probably already know what this is. I was thinking about doing a, a review on it, but honestly there's so many out there, I don't know why I would do that. I'll link the ones that I watched down below. Okay, so. The Morphe 350 palette. So the reason that I decided to get this in the first place is because I really wanted the, I think I talked about this in one of my Vlogmas videos, but long story short, I really wanted the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette, but I'd just been out of the makeup game too, like too long, and I forgot that like limited edition things are a thing, and also I didn't realize that it was only sold at Ulta. They were only sold at Ulta. And so by the time that I finally decided slash save the money to actually buy the palette, because it ended up being a really good deal, like $2 per eyeshadow that came in the palette, because they were like 32. But they were all just warm browns which are kind of like very in trend right now and the only way I've been able to achieve this is with my old this thing is old y'all coastal sense 88 warm palette I bought this when I first started YouTube when I was in what eighth grade so that was that's eight years ago I bought this palette there's also plenty of reviews on coastal sense palette but like you can tell like this thing has taken oh this is why I can't show it because three of the eyeshadows just fell out. I've been really into these two eyeshadows. Wow, also my nails are ratchet. My life is a mess. My life is a mess. What's new? But I've been really into these two up here because they are warm brown, but they're Coastal Sense quality, which isn't bad. It just takes a lot. There's a lot of fallout and also it takes a lot more shadow to get the look that you want. Okay, here's the box. Here's the wrapping paper. Opening the bubble wrap now. I was debating doing this video because I feel like I have like a little bit of leftover PTSD from when I first had my YouTube channel and I made like beauty videos and I really really loved it but like everyone at my high school made fun of me and everyone found out about it and it was this whole thing and like yeah 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 like don't let other people's opinions get you down but like low-key I actually feel like I have PTSD from that. I was like hesitant about putting this on but you know what? Do what makes you happy. This is interesting to me. I know it's interesting to other people so I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna put it on the internet. Okay guys. Oh my gosh you guys. Okay so holy this is gorgeous. It's a mixture of warm and cool, but I feel like there's a good majority of warm orange tones, which I don't know why, because I, I remember specifically being like, those colors are ugly, I would never put that on my face, but here we are, I bought a palette basically for the purpose of those colors. I think I'm just gonna swatch a couple and then be done with this video. <sighs> which one do I want to swatch? Really, really wanna swatch this corner one, which I know has been like raved about. Oh, this looks so pretty. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that was like very satisfying. Oh wow. wow. Like this that's like the second swipe, third swipe, fourth swipe. Wow. If you guys want to see like a bunch of swatches, I think I'll link some videos down below because there's no really reason for me doing that, just because there's already so many of those out there. Am I hella pumped for this? Yes, I am. Alright, well I guess this ends this little mini vlog open box. Sing, unboxing is that what the beauty gurus are calling it these days i don't know i don't know whatever i'll see y'all later <laughs> bye i don't know why people do this in unboxings because i never really care about this like packaging but i feel like everyone's always like here's the box here's the packaging ew i look so gross okay whatever we're over it we're over it we're over it i don't even care i don't care <laughs>